Hello and welcome to Basics of Coding with Unreal Engine 4 by Pack Publishing. In this title, we will be covering the basic concepts required for game development using the C++ programming language. My name is Ali Reza Tavakoli, and I am an Associate Professor of Computer Science and the Director of the Digital Gaming and Simulation Program at the University of Houston, Victoria. My teaching and research interests are primarily in the fields of artificial intelligence, visual computing and computer vision, virtual reality, interactive systems, and robotics. And in particular, encompassing a lot of uh, techniques and tools that are required for interactive video game design. So let's take a look at the course overview and see what we will be covering in this course. What we will learn is basically start out with an introduction onto how you can program video games with the Unreal Engine 4, which is the signature game engine developed by Epic Games. We will then start looking at basic implementation and um, installation of the Unreal Engine 4. We will learn how you can set up a simple code template in Unreal Engine 4 after installing the game engine and simple programming in Visual Studio uh, using the C++ compilers. We will then go to section 2 of the introductory concepts and learn about classes in Unreal Engine 4. And this set of videos is to understand what classes and actors are in Unreal Engine 4 and how you can create classes and actors in your program and how you can utilize already pre-existing actors to inherit from and build new classes basically on top of the existing Unreal Engine actors and objects. And section three of the introductory concepts title would cover memory management, how effectively you can work with the Unreal Engine's reflection system and the garbage collection system to make sure that there aren't leaks um, memory leaks and other types of inefficiencies in your program. We need to look at how um, memory management is handled in programming languages such as the C++ programming language and in general when we are allocating variables and memory containers our compiler would either utilize our operating system to automatically reserve and allocate memory or we will need to allocate the memory ourselves. So in the first type of memory allocation, you basically create variables and you won't get access directly to the location, but the content of those variables through your operating system. But sometimes you might need to allocate memory yourself in terms of dynamic memory um, allocation when you need to, in runtime, decide how much memory you need and then make that request. This course will help you develop the basic skills required to work with the Unreal Engine 4. And let's get started with this journey together. See you there.